bispsolutions.com my name is sumit and i am a subject matter expert with salesforce solutions today i am here with my new video in salesforce lightning and the topic for today video is that how can we configure a lightning bolt solution in salesforce so lightning bolt is a new framework for deploying the next generation communities and portals and different applications quicker and faster on a different or on a separate uh, Salesforce app. And Lightning Bolt, it allows you to quickly build and distribute the industry specific Lightning Bolt solutions and it helps to jumpstart new org capabilities. And it also saves time building and reusing the same application again on a different org. For example, I have built a solution, I have built a custom app, and I would like to distribute the same apps among different users, different Salesforce org. So instead of uh, repackaging, instead of packaging and deploying onto different uh, org manually, I would be taking help of Lightning Bolt solution, which is a quicker and faster way to do that. And not only that, here in Lightning Bolt, we can add custom communities and custom solutions also. So let's begin and let me demonstrate you how can we do that. And in order to do that, what I have already done first. So first of all, I have already developed a custom app. And as you can see on my screen, I have got a custom app named as Talent Management. And this app is used to manage the upcoming positions or the registered candidates and the job applications filled by them and the the employment website option is also there where we have posted our positions so my objective is to uh, distribute this solution among different users so so that they can use on their own org so in order to do that first of all i have uh, design this app and then i'm going to look for lightning bolt solution so this is uh, by default available with the upcoming first edition of salesforce if it is not available you can uh, register for a subscription where this is available so i'm using a developers org right now and i click on lightning bolt solution So Lightning Bolt solution, uh, it, we can add custom apps, we can add flow categories, we can add communities and the communities we are going to design, we can use those communi communities as a templates for, uh, for communities in different org. So I'm going to create a first one. So I click on create the first one and uh, just fill up or provide the details are which are required. So I just write BISP test like a uh, bsp custom lightning bolt solution that's a developer name and uh, this belongs to let's say this belongs to you can choose we can choose the uh, i'll go with education partner name is required so bisp and title i'll give title as bisp custom bold solution description if you want to add any feature if you want to add image is basically image is something similar to uh, image is something like whenever we visit whenever we search for any solution in app exchange it comes with a default image. So I'm going to add an image here and I would be using the logo. So I already got a BISP logo, which I'm going to use here. So I'll just select it and upload that logo. Okay, so I already, you can see image is uploaded here. Click on next and make sure that all the fields are filled because description is also required. 
required. So I just write this is a custom talent management app developed by BRSP and next. So here uh, you can select and add whether you would like to add a flow categories or a community template or a custom app. So in my case, I have designed and developed a custom app. So I'm going to add it. So I select that app. You can add multiple apps, multiple flow categories and multiple community templates. So I just select my app and click on next. And this is the summary how it would be going to look like. So that's a detail and these are the content for this bold solution and click on finish. So that is the bold solution and we can edit or delete whenever it is required. And now we have to package it. So I would be going to use a package for this one. And when I click on package, uh, it says that your current developer settings are listed below package type allowed is unmanaged only. Your organization is unmanaged and managed packages. Uh, managed packages, because managed packages or unmanaged packages, there is a difference between them, which uh, you can find out the details in my existing videos related to the uh, packages. Now I need to create a new package here. So I click on packages and I'll give a name as I'll give name as BISP. Package name is custom app. Or custom lightning. App. Solution language is English any custom link nothing and I simple click on so and I just click on view dependencies just to find out the dependencies if there are any dependencies so there are no dependencies and now uh, I can check version also if it is required if it is there So we need to so that's a package we have added now we need to add a component so comp here in this component we need to add the lightning component which we have added so like lightning bolt component we have added and i select the custom bolt solution or we call it as a lightning bolt solution and that's the lightning bolt solution we have created just now so i click and say add to package we can add multiple options we can add multiple components we can add visual force pages and all solutions if whatever we wanted to add and as you can see these are the objects and validation rules and everything so these are the options or you can say files which are added in this app again i click on view dependencies just to see the dependencies if there are any dependencies after adding package so uh, these are the dependencies so for job application and for position so because okay rating count total rating fine so these are the dependencies and uh, it's already perfectly fine so i'll get back to the package now and now i can click on upload so now the package is going to upload now and we can give a package name psp custom package version uh, release notes so i'll say none any url no post is nothing description it's a password protected no and this package will be available for all profile users so if we are deploying this package on other sub uh, on another uh, org so by default it's it won't be available for any profile user so i'm just making this as a default application default solution for all profile users uh, so we don't have any option for that and what are the other uh, features we wanted to so email to case if we have configured email to case 
so that also i wanted to add campaign all the campaigns forecasting so it depends whatever you wanted to add you can select opportunity team orders product states workflows yes i need a workflows and stream apis no we we haven't configured any apis no products we haven't added any products nothing flows we haven't added and uh, fine then i scroll down and for position i would be selecting the sharing one and for contract orders campaign so that's a record type sharing and field tracking we want a feed tracking also and we don't want to touch any of them so i'm just i'm not touch candidate i'm request I'm, i require candidate so it's already done and finally click on upload so it would be uploading the version 1.1 and once it uploaded successfully it will generate a url so i can we can use that url in a different org so that's the url and uh, so we can use this option to log in, in uh, basically we can use this link to uh, install on another org so let me show you that also how we are going to install it on another org how to use this app uh, this package on another org so just can let me open my new instance because here i already got this so i need to open in my another instance another salesforce instance so i'm just doing it for this and login yeah it is ask for verification so i'll receive my verification in my mailbox it is 56657 and we got we verify that and now we would be using this installation over here so i just copy this url from here and i'll just remove this option and add install package install package so if it is not coming here then we can go and check in app exchange so this package may take some time to uh, this package may take some time to be replicated in pack uh, in lightning solutions or package development so we need to wait till then and So as you can see, uh, I just provide the package name and it's the package is not yet available. So this will take some time. This uh, this process may take some time to refresh it or we need to wait because uh, we would be getting this package from the installer. So it may take some time. okay sorry so i'm getting an error because my package name and the the uh, the salesforce subscription is same so what i'm doing i'll just log out from here so because see we are getting an error message the installer package name cannot be same so what i'm doing i just close it and let me log in again so 
so just to save time what you can do is you can keep login into your salesforce so it's asking for uh, to login into salesforce so i'm just using one subscription for me and uh, i just provide username and password and i would be waiting for the package and now you can see this package is available and uh, it's it's ready to we are ready to install this package so i have logged in into another subscription now and we are ready to uh, install this package so i can say install for all users and click on install so it would it would be installing the package and giving grant access to all users to use this application use this package so that's the way how we can use lightning component for work functionality and to work on uh, how to uh, deploy the package from uh, deploy the app from one org to another with the help of lightning bolt solution so that's all in this video if i hope you like this video if that's so don't forget to press like button you can post your comment in comment box if you have some queries you can directly write to us you can reach us reach us on www.bisptrainingsandbispsolutions.com you can uh, contact us for us for the customized training on salesforce thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye